Today, Haaland and Mbappe will be competing in a game of FC Monopoly with the currency being their overall. Each player will roll a dice and will buy the property that they land on, and if the property is already occupied, they must pay rent to the other player. At the end of each turn, they will compete in challenges, and the winner will be awarded a plus 10 to their overall. The player with the highest overall after 13 turns will be the winner. Let's play a classic game of heads or tails to determine who goes first, and it lands on heads, which means Haaland will kick things off. On his first roll of the dice, Haaland will be moving up eight spots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that brings him up all the way to the orange properties. Those cost eight overalls, which means Haaland is now a 52. Mbappe is up next, and he's going to roll a six, and that's going to take him up all the way to the pink property. That one costs six overalls, and Mbappe is now a 54. The first challenge is a classic head-to-head -head game between Manchester City and PSG. KDB finds an overlapping Alvarez, who lays it off to Foden in the box, and it's 1-0 Manchester City. Alvarez holding the ball, finds Haaland who is through on goal. Will the defense catch up to him? No, they won't. Haaland doubles the lead for Manchester City. We might be looking at an early blowout if PSG and Mbappe don't turn this around. Ugarte with the ball, lays it off to Vitinha, who takes a shot and beats Ederson. Ladies and gents, this game is definitely not over. Let's see what Mbappe can do. Dribbling in the middle of the pitch, he finds Zaire Ermi, who lays it off to Vitinha, takes the shot, and it's saved by Ederson. Wow, I thought that was going in. Dembele takes the corner for PSG, crosses it in, and Marquinhos finds the back of the net. And it looks like Pep is fuming on the sidelines, shouting instructions at his players. How will Manchester City respond? Foden with the ball, finds Rodri, who spots KDB running in behind, and are you kidding me? KDB restores the lead for Manchester City. But that lead wouldn't last long because it's Vitinha once again who sneaks it by Ederson and we're leveled once again. He would be just as dominant in the second half, scoring this beauty of a goal for his hat trick and it would end up being the game winner. A disappointing night for Mbappe with no goal contributions, but he is the winner of this challenge, making him a 64 overall. Starting off turn two, Haaland is going to roll a four and that's going to make him the proud owner of the first railroad company that's going to cost him eight overalls and he's now a 44 mbappe is up next and he's going to roll an eight and that's going to take him past Haaland's railroad and onto the yellow properties mbappe buys it and he's now a 54 challenge number two is first to save a penalty wins mbappe won the last challenge so he'll go first let's go ahead and aim for the top right corner and he scores Haaland is up next and to keep things fair i'm going to shoot to the same right side and he scores it. Mbappe steps up for a second penalty. Let's go to the right again. And it's saved by Haaland. He wins the challenge and he's now a 54. On to turn number three and Haaland is going to roll a one. He won't be moving too far, but it does prevent Mbappe from getting a monopoly of the yellow properties. Mbappe is up next and he's going to roll a three and that's going to take him to the mystery challenge wheel. Behind these boxes are different types of challenges and for winning them, you get an overall upgrade. Let's go ahead and pick box number seven for Mbappe shirt number and he'll have to finish the season with more goals scored than Haaland. For this challenge, I put Mbappe and Haaland on the same team and we're gonna sim through an entire season. The season is over and City finished in second place behind Liverpool by only one point. Wow, that was a close title race. Salah finishes the season as joint top goal scorer alongside Harvey Barnes with 23 goals. Mbappe scored 21 goals. But hold on a second, where's Haaland? He's not even in the top 15. Oh my days, he's only scored 13 goals. Nicholas Jackson has scored 18. That's how you know this game is not realistic. Mbappe clearly won the challenge and whatever he rolls will be added onto his overall and he gets an eight, which makes him a 62. We now head to the streets of Paris where Haaland and Mbappe will compete in a three versus three game of Volta. The first of three goals will be the winner of the challenge and it's Haaland that kicks things off. PSG would respond right away with a goal from five and Ruiz. Hold on a second, did you guys see that? Fabian Ruiz hit the two. That's going to look real bad if PSG don't win this and Jack Grealish responds straight away. I wonder if Fabian is regretting that early celebration, but here he is with the ball and he just puts it in for free. Grealish completely forgot to mark him. I think he was still celebrating his goal and to be fair, he doesn't score many anymore, so we'll let this one slide. Next goal wins and it's Hound with the ball. Takes a shot, it's blocked and the rebound ends up being a pass to Grealish who wins it for Team Haaland. He's back to a 54 overall. To start turn four, Haaland is going to roll a seven. 
seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he lands on go. Not only do you collect a plus 10 overall for passing go, but if you land on it, you also collect the community chest. At the end of each turn, one overall gets added to the community chest. So Haaland will be going up 14 overalls, taking him to a 68. It's Mbappe's turn, and he's going to roll a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And he lands on his own property. Not the greatest roll, but he does collect plus 10 overall for passing go. The next challenge is starting, and we're back in Volta, but this time it's a 1v1. The first one to score wins. It's Mbappe with the ball. He could end it right here, and he scuffed his shot. What are you doing, Mbappe? Allen is through. He could end it right here, and he smashes it top bins. That's how it's done, Killian. That takes Haaland to a 78 overall. To start turn 5, Haaland is going to roll a 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And he lands on the mystery box. Behind these mystery boxes are different kinds of upgrades. For example, the next unowned property you land on could be free. However, not every box is an upgrade. Haaland wears number 9, so let's go ahead and open the corresponding box. And he gets a minus 5. He is not happy about that one. Mbappe rolls, and he gets a 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and he lands on Haaland's yellow property. That's going to cost him 9 overalls in rent, and Haaland is back to smiling. For the next challenge, we're headed to the Champions! I can't use the official song for copyright reasons, so that'll have to do. The challenge is quite simple. Whoever has the furthest Champions League run will be the winner. The group stage has been simulated, and both Manchester City and PSG are headed to the round of 16. PSG face off against Galatasaray, and I'm going to quick sim to the result, and it's PSG who wins the first leg 2-1. Manchester City face off against Braga, and I'm going to quick sim the result here as well, and it's a 3-1 victory from Manchester City. The second leg of PSG Galatasaray would end in a draw, with PSG winning 2-1 on aggregate. Meanwhile, Manchester City fall to Braga, but advance on aggregate score. The quarterfinal matchups have been made, and are you kidding me? Haaland and Mbappe will face off against each other in the quarterfinals in a winner-takes-all. In the first leg, it would be Manchester City to open the scoring with a goal from Foden, but Mbappe will respond with a goal of his own just a couple minutes later. Manchester City were the more dominant team, and a goal would finally come at the 70th minute. That goal would hold until the final whistle, and Man City take the first leg 2-1. If Mbappe wants to win this challenge, PSG will have to start the game strong, but it's the opposite that happens, and Man City take the lead through Vardiol again. After Bernardo Silva made this a 2-0 game, Mbappe would respond with two goals of his own, and perhaps Perhaps there was hope for a comeback, but Rodri will put that hope to rest with a goal at the 64th minute. Manchester City eliminate PSG and Haaland wins the challenge. That takes him up to a 92 overall. On turn 6, Haaland will be advancing 9 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that takes him to an unoccupied green property. That one costs 14 overalls and he's now a 78. Mbappe rolls and he'll be advancing 6 spots, which is going to take him to the most expensive properties on the board. One of two blue properties costing 18 overalls each. He now owns one of them and he's now a 45 overall. The next challenge is quite simple. Whoever I come up against first in division rivals between Holland and Mbappe will be the winner. Now, I play against them quite often, but for some reason today, I went into game after game after game and no one had them until my very next opponent. I've lost count at how many games I backed out of. Is this the team that will have Mbappe or Haaland? No way! He's got both. I wasn't quite sure what to do here, but I gave both Mbappe and Haaland a plus 10 overall. They both appeared in the same team, so it seemed fair to me. Turn 7 is underway, and Haaland rolls a 3. And that's going to bring him on Killian's blue property, which means he needs to pay him 15 overalls in rent. Wow, that purchase is already paying off. Haaland is down to a 73, and Mbappe is up to a 70. He's going to roll a 5, and he'll collect 10 overalls for pass and go, and pay 4 for landing on the light blue property. He's now a 76 overall. In the next challenge, family members are getting involved. Today, Haaland's cousin and Mbappe's brother will be going one versus one to earn their respective family member a plus 10 upgrade. The first player to score three goals wins the challenge. And it's Ethan who gives Team Mbappe a 1-0 lead. Jonathan can respond right away and he rips it top bins. That left foot definitely runs in the family. Ethan goes with his left, but it's not the same result. The ball goes the other way. Jonathan can have a crack at it 
and it's top bins again. That's how it's done, Ethan. Take some notes. Ethan would respond with a goal straight away, and we are now in sudden debt. The next goal wins. Jonathan can end it right here, and it's his left foot once again. That shot is simply unstoppable, and he wins it for his cousin. Haaland is now an 83 overall, and he's going to roll a 3. He'll collect 10 overalls for passing go and pay 8 for the railroad, which makes him an 85. He now has a monopoly of the railroads, and if Mbappe lands on one of them, he'll be paying double the rent. How many spots will Mbappe be advancing? It'll be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that takes him up to the second orange property. That'll cost eight and he's now a 68 overall for the next challenge we're headed to penalties wait hold on a minute was that Marez? what's he doing back in the city locker room oh right i forgot Haaland and Mbappe called some ex-club teammates to help them with this challenge kicking things off is jude bellingham and he smashes it in sergio ramos has scored over 30 penalties in his career and he converts this one as well former teammates at dortmund emery chan is up next and he drills it past donnarumma next we have neymar looking to level things up and he converts it. No one has missed so far. Royce is up next. And it's another flawless penalty. Messi has missed some important penalties in his career. But not this one. Mars is up next. And he barely sneaks it by Donnarumma. Wow, that was very, very close. Dembele's up next. Can he level things up? Yes, he can. No one has missed after four rounds. Haaland is up next. And it's saved by Donnarumma. And Mbappe can win the challenge right here unless Ederson saves it. And he sneaks it under. Mbappe is the winner of the challenge, taking him to a 78 overall. To start turn 9, Haaland is going to be moving 5 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and he lands on the mystery box. Haaland will be hoping to get something good this time around, because last time he got a minus 5 overall. What box should we open? Let's go with number 5. Are you kidding me? It looks like Haaland will be spending the night in jail with Quincy Promes. I'll explain how we can get out of it in the next turn. Mbappe is going to roll a 4, and that's going to take him to Haaland's yellow property. That is going to cost Mbappe 9 overalls. Haaland might be collecting rent from jail, but he is unable to attend the next challenge, which means it's an automatic forfeit, and Mbappe collects a plus 10 overall. In order to get out of jail, Haaland will have to roll an even number. And he rolls a 6, which means he'll be spending the next turn with Eric Ten Hag. He's now the head parking manager at Old Trafford. Mbappe is looking to strengthen his position on the board and he's going to roll a 5 and he's going to have a full monopoly of the dark blue properties. That will take him down to a 61 overall but if Haaland were to land on one of those properties that will cost him 30 overalls in rent. For the next challenge Haaland will be playing for Sheffield and Mbappe will be playing for Burnley but there's a little bit of a twist. They'll be playing in a different position and this wheel will help us pick it. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what their new position will be and it's going to be left back. I'm going to sim an entire Premier League season and instead of being judged on goals, they'll be judged on assists. Whoever finishes with the most at the end of the season will be the winner. The season has been simmed and Mbappe's Burnley has been relegated. Meanwhile, Haaland's Sheffield United have finished in 15th place. Let's take a look at who finished top of the table. Manchester United. Well, that can't be right. Uh, no, Eric. Parking staff does not get the trophy. Anyways, let's take a look at the player stats. And it looks like Mbappe at the end of the season collected a total of four assists. Let's take a look at Haaland's stats. And he finishes the season with three assists, making Mbappe the winner of this challenge. That takes him up to a 71 overall. To start turn 11, Haaland is going to roll an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he lands on the blue properties once again. But this time, it's going to cost him double. After after paying rent, Haaland is now a 64 overall and Mbappe is 101. Mbappe is up next after taking the lead and he's going to roll a 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and it's Mbappe's turn to pay double rent. He lands on the railroad which are both owned by Haaland and that's going to cost him 22 overalls. Haaland is back up to an 86 overall and after paying rent and passing go, Mbappe is at an 89. For this next challenge, the winner was decided by you. I went to social media and asked if your club could sign one of Mbappe or Haaland, who would you rather have. The player you voted for the most, and it wasn't even close, was Mbappe. He's the winner of this challenge, which takes him to a 99 overall. Allen should be fine here unless he rolls a 1. It's going to be a 5, and that's going to take him to an empty blue property. After paying for it and collecting 10 overalls for pass and go, Haaland is now a 92. Mbappe rolls next, and he's going to be moving 9 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He buys the red property, and he's now a 90 overall. We're now headed to the streets of London, where both Mbappe and Haaland call 
called some international teammates for a game of Volta. The first team to three goals wins. Team Holland would open the scoring with a goal from Sorlart, and he would also be the one to double their lead a minute later. But this game was far from over. After Griezmann cut the lead to one goal, it would be Mbappe to level things up. Team Mbappe is looking to complete the comeback, and it's Dembele who just walks it in for free. Wait, I thought he was going to run through the door right there. Mbappe's a winner of the challenge, and he's now 100 overall. We're now in the final turn, and Haaland is going to roll a 6, and it looks like he'll be paying Mbappe rent one last time as he lands on his orange property. That will cost Haaland 7 overalls, and he's now an 85, while Mbappe strengthens his lead as 107 overall. Mbappe is not in the clear just yet, because he'll have to avoid rolling a 1, 2, or 5 to avoid having to pay rent the other way. Mbappe spins, and he'll be moving two spots that puts him on Haaland's yellow property and it's his turn to be sending rent one final time that's going to put Haaland at a 94 overall meanwhile Mbappe maintains a slight lead going into the final challenge we are now headed to Wembley Stadium for the final challenge where Mbappe and Haaland will be playing for the Champions League trophy but there's much more on the line the winner of this challenge will get a plus 10 overall upgrade and will also collect the remainder of the community chest Foden gets the first chance of the game but it's saved by Donnarumma Kevin De Bruyne is stripped from the ball. That's a very big mistake. Mbappe is through on goal and he makes him pay. Pep is not happy about that one at all. The pressure is now on Haaland to show that he's in the game and he responds very quickly with a goal of his own. Manchester City are attacking down the right flank and a cross from Walker doesn't find Haaland but it gets to Bernardo Silva who gives Manchester City the lead. But Mbappe would have one final chance before the halftime whistle is blown and he scores his second of the game. Wow, this game is definitely living up to the hype. PSG would build off that momentum and would punish Manchester City once again on the counter-attack. Mbappe finds his third goal of the game and decides to celebrate like this in front of the City fans. Allen did not appreciate that celebration at all and he would make him regret it instantly as he finds his second goal of the game. He picks up the ball and celebrates quietly because he knows there's still a job to be done. And at the 80th minute, Allen could give City the lead and he scores his third goal of the game. He's running to the PSG away end knowing full well this could be the game-winning goal and he hits them with the celebration Mbappe did earlier in the game. I'm sure he's regretting that one now. A late goal from KDB would seal the game for Manchester City and it's Erling Haaland who gets to lift the Champions League trophy. Mbappe finishes as a 98 overall and Haaland finishes as a 114 overall making him the winner of FC Monopoly.